Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Director Nittle, thank you so much for your time and uh, your uh, agency's fabulous work on a slew of issues we face. Um, I want to try to drill you down a little bit on the sales tax expansion. I know uh, whether you love it or not, you've done extensive work on uh, sales tax increase and expansion um, over the past, I'd say, four years. Um, now, obviously, that was in relation to some tax shifting uh, kind of stuff. And coming from a border county, your county, anytime anybody mentions expansion of the sales tax, um, red flag goes up because we're really taking away um, really an economic advantage over other states, um, especially for border counties who it's very easy to cross borders back and forth. Um, can you just give us a quick economic impact of increasing the sales tax and the sales tax expanding the base and how that will affect our economy here in Pennsylvania? Uh, as you noted, the, uh, the proposal in the governor's budget is very similar uh, from the details that we know from what was in uh, SB 76 and HB 76. And uh, um, it does expand the base um, to many goods that are not currently taxed, um, such as non-prescription drugs. It does expand it to many services that are, are not uh, uh, currently taxed. Um, how that um, plays through, again, uh, all else equal, uh, increasing a tax level will uh, result in a reduction of the item purchased. So it will result in uh, uh, lower economic activity. But uh, again, I would, I would say that the trade-off, how are those revenues being used, should be considered as well. And under the governor's budget, how are those revenues being used? I know you mentioned Senate Bill 76 that would go to property taxes. Yes. Uh, is it dedicated to anything? Uh, my understanding from the, the, the sales tax is it's, it's dedicated to, uh, to pension. It's in a restricted account. It will be used for the, uh, the pensions. Interesting. So they're bonding to pay it off and they're jacking up tax on individuals to pay off. Okay. Um, I just want to get into corporate taxes a little bit as well. Um, we're trying to work through the, the title impact of that tax package. I'm very excited to hear a lot of my colleagues talking about corporate tax reductions in a bipartisan fashion. It's very exciting. Um, it's good public policy. How does, how does the, um, can you kind of go over what the net operating loss rollback is and combine reporting? So sure. generally the public has a good general understanding of what those topics are. Sure. Uh, those two proposals really uh, go, go hand in glove. Mm -hmm. uh, combined reporting is, uh, Pennsylvania is a separate uh, entity filing state. Uh, we're going to move to combined reporting where it's, a, uh, it's the entity, the uh, uh, a unity uh, basis. So you're pulling all, in all the subsidiaries, the, uh, the affiliates into one group and then apportioning that income to Pennsylvania. Uh, with that, the concern with combined reporting is that, and states have seen this, that you will have uh, an influx of NOLs or net operating losses from firms outside Pennsylvania using their losses to offset tax uh, payments in Pennsylvania. And so that's why you have to reduce the NOL cap. Um, currently, we're at uh, $5 million or 30% of taxable income. It's proposed to be reduced to 3 million or 12.5. So that's really to make the combined re reporting proposal work. Are you familiar with the ADBAC proposal? No, we, I am. Yeah, we've, when we did that two years ago, three years ago now, uh, studies I've seen, um, the ADBACs have brought in, in states that have done that, have brought in more revenue than combined reporting. Uh, have any states done both? Is this proposal getting rid of the ad backs and going combined reporting, leaving both? Uh, it's unclear whether it's getting rid of it. So in some uh, respects, uh, it could be redundant depending on how the ad back is uh, in statutes. So there's there some weak ad backs, there's strong ad backs. Uh, I would characterize combined reporting as being a stronger uh, approach in order to um, make sure income is not uh, shifted out of the state. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.